Now on Cox TV News. Lots of clouds to start our Thursday with mild conditions. Slight chances for rain today with the cold front, but better rain chances late in the weekend. I'll track it on Futurecast next. A Sussex County tradition will begin in just a few hours. I'll tell you about the return day festivities coming up soon. Sussex Council changes. We're looking at the makeup of the governing body after Tuesday's election. Utah fire fallout. This is the aftermath of a home explosion. Just look at that. What has been revealed here after the investigation? This is Coast TV News Today. And we continue with our six o'clock hour. Good morning. I'm Matt Pensick. Good morning, everyone. I'm Paige Marley. It is Thursday, November 7th, 2024. You know, as we've been talking about all morning, mm -hmm. we're gearing up for return day. If you've lived here a while, it's one of those, if you know, you know. Yeah. For some of our newer Delawareans, this is really a cool event. When I first heard of it, honestly, I kind of thought it was a joke. I'm like, oh, this little thing they do, it's not It is a little. huge deal. Yeah. I'm surprised it doesn't get the national attention. It, it should. It, I think it deserves. What's that thing on ESPN where uh, Ocho? Yeah, the it Ocho. Should, it should be like the news version of that, like yeah. funny, unconventional things that places do. I think it's a good idea. Yeah. But Bob, if you are going to return day, which most people it seems are, uh, the weather's looking just fine. Yeah, not really all that bad. And originally, I thought return day was like the day after Christmas. You know, the gifts you don't like, you take them back. But hey, it's a cool Sussex County tradition. And the weather, not bad. Now, we're looking at a lot of clouds. Bark is worse than the bite here. Not seeing any rain, unfortunately. But then again, we don't want rain for return day. As we're looking at the clouds, these clouds ahead of a cold front moving in from the west. It's pretty starved for moisture. Just a few showers well to our west and a few more showers down into the Carolinas. It's mild with the cloud cover and light breeze. 66 Milton, Bethany Beach 68, Delmar 67. So if you're headed out to return day, well, just the light jacket should do. And we're looking at light wind. So let's track it out. Future cast has us in the clouds really much of the day and temperatures climbing through the 60s into the 70s. Late morning, maybe a bigger break in those clouds and that will allow temperatures to warm pretty quickly. Early afternoon, upper 70s, maybe close to 80 in Salisbury, 78 long neck and 60s and 70s at the beach and maybe a sprinkle or a light shower into the evening hours. If you're taking the ferry up to Cape May and back looking pretty good. We'll see clouds and maybe a sprinkle temperatures in the 60s to lower 70s by noon and light winds. Thank you for that. And we've been talking about it, a lower Delaware tradition like no other return day as political candidates come together to literally, they're going to literally bury a hatchet, mm -hmm. celebrating unity and the official end of the campaign season. Coast TV News reporter Elisa Weber is live in Georgetown. Elisa, many people in Sussex County are looking forward to this day. Some schools even in the county have off today. Yeah, Matt and Paige, I'm currently at the Georgetown Circle, and this area pretty soon is going to be filled with a ton of people excited to celebrate Return Day, which is a unique holiday here in Sussex County, and it's always celebrated on the Thursday after the election. And preparations have been underway for a couple of days now, and right now people are here, they're getting ready, they're cooking some food in the background behind me. You can smell it. It's delicious. There's a lot of flags set up. Red, white, and blue lights are up. So the entire area of the circle is getting ready to celebrate this exciting day. And like I mentioned, preparations have been underway for a couple of days and yesterday some final touches were done. And this is a tradition that dates back to the 18th century when people would travel to Georgetown, the county seat two days after election day to hear the town crier read the returns of the election. Decorating began on Monday with flags being hung up and later on today there's going to be a parade at 1:30. There will be food trucks, live entertainment and a cornhole tournament where people can compete for a cash prize. And the circle closed on Wednesday and will remain closed until the end of the ceremonies at the circle today. And like we mentioned, many people are expected to come here to the circle. So we spoke with the Georgetown mayor to hear how the town is making sure that they're going to keep everyone safe today. We're going to hear from him a little later on about those precautions. Back to you. Elisa, thank you. Now, Return Day has a storied history. It's not exactly clear when the first Return Day was. It could have been as early as 19, or 1792, but we know for sure that Return Day existed by 1812. It features, like Matt mentioned, a literal hatchet burying by representatives from Sussex County's Democratic and Republican parties. It's always been and will remain a chance for opponents to come together after the election. And you'll want to stay here with Coast TV throughout the day. We're going to have extensive coverage of Return Day. Be sure to join us for this day of bipartisanship and Delmarva Flair. The Sussex County Council will have three new members come next year. Matt Lloyd, Jane Grunebaum and Steve McCarran. Current members Douglas Hudson and John Riley were not up for re-election. 
We spoke with one of the winners who says they plan to focus on school funding. And, and the cost of new school construction is something that, that shouldn't be just borne by the, the residents that are already living here. This is the first time that there have been three new council members elected at one time in Sussex County since 2009. District 3 in the county, county council, the last two council members there have only served one term. I.G. Burt lost to now current councilman Mark Schaefer in the 2020 primary. Now, if you remember that one, that was only by 44 votes. And now Schaefer is a one-term councilman too. Here's more of a change for the seat. Council districts were redistricted in 2022. By law, each district must be within 5% of the same population of each other. For 10 years before that, District 3 went west to Ellendale and as far south as Lewis. And now it's all coastal, pretty much running along Route 1 from Milford all the way down to Bethany Beach. All of this brings us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know what should Sussex County Council's priority be for next year? All right, let's see the updated results. Uh, most of you still saying controlling development. That is the big issue, and a lot of you are for voting for that. And also some votes for funding schools, handling property reassessments, and regulating marijuana, also getting a couple votes. If you haven't done so yourself, you can still vote at coasttv.com or our mobile app. Now, this election was full of historic wins on Delmarva, specifically in the U.S. Senate. Lisa Blunt Rochester of Delaware and Angela Also Brooks of Maryland became the first black women elected to the U.S. Senate from their respective states. Up until now, the only two other elected black women in the Senate were Kamala Harris and Carol Mosley Braun. And it was on Wednesday that Vice President Kamala Harris called Donald Trump to concede, and then she delivered a concession speech. We're already starting to get a picture of what a second Trump administration could look like. NBC's Jay Gray shows us that while the president-elect is now defining some of the key issues he will make a priority as he makes his return to the White House. A day later, it's not the speech Vice President Harris had hoped or planned to make. While I concede this election, I do not concede the fight that fueled this campaign. A fight that was by any measure a political knockout. In the end, not even close. President-elect Trump sweeping the swing states, knocking down the so-called blue wall, winning with men and first-timers at the ballot box while expanding his support from black, Latino, and young voters. And then when he won, I was like, oh my God, let's make America great again. The former and now future president promising a federal shakeup. On day one, I will launch the largest deportation program in American history. He's also proposed eliminating the Department of Education, promised to impose tariffs on imports, stop American support for the war in Ukraine, and again, end U.S. participation in the Paris Climate Agreement. I think this nation voted without a conscience. And I think there's going to be a huge case of buyer's remorse. Harris acknowledging the frustration and disappointment of supporters. Now I know folks are feeling and experiencing a range of emotions right now. I get it. <laughs> but we must accept the results of this election. Results, many on both sides say, are unprecedented in U.S. political history. Jay Gray, NBC News, Washington. New information now on a story we first brought you earlier this week. Richard Byrne has stepped down as president of Rehoboth Beach Main Street, which is a nonprofit that supports local businesses and encourages people to visit downtown Rehoboth Beach. Now, it was earlier that we reported to you that Byrne, who is a former Rehoboth Beach commissioner, was arrested for stealing campaign signs. He was charged with two counts of theft under $1,500 and two counts of criminal mischief under $1,000. According to a press relief from the organization, he did it out of concern for the nonprofit. Vice President Susie Martin will be serving as interim president moving forward. Now taking a look at Rehoboth Beach this morning. This is on Route 1 moments ago, a few miles from here. It's the North Shores community, and that is where the current commander-in-chief, President Biden, will spend his time this weekend. This is always the case. That means a flight restriction is going to be in place, and those restrictions will run from tomorrow, November 8th, to Monday the 11th. Also in the nation's summer capital happening now, the on-again, off-again Rehoboth Avenue paving is actually on. This is the scene as crews work on that project. It marks the first time the avenue will be paved in nearly 20 years. The city says the project will include milling, paving, restriping, and some curb work. This all comes after the city's gone back and forth several times on whether or not to pave the avenue, with some previous delays due to budget issues. 
New this morning, the cause of an explosion remains under investigation. At least one person was killed following an explosion at a home here in Utah on Wednesday. You can see some of that devastating footage right here on your screen. And officials say when they arrived, they found a neighborhood home engulfed in flames. And according to authorities, a body was found at that home site. A Milton man is facing charges again for home improvement fraud. This time it's in Bethany Beach after a man says he paid over $3,000 for work that never happened. Christopher, Ru Christopher Russell, that's the owner of Great Outdoors Sunrooms and Shade Solutions, is being accused of taking the deposit as part of a $5,800 contract but failed to deliver the service. Police say Russell is also under investigation for similar scams across Delaware. On November 1st, Russell turned himself in. He's facing felony charges, including home improvement fraud and theft by false promise. Happening tonight in Baltimore, the Ravens go for the season sweep of the Bengals. It's Thursday night football at the stadium at 6-3. and three. The Ravens are a half game out of first in the AFC North. Lamar Jackson's 20 touchdown passes are the second most in the NFL this season. And kickoff across the Bay is set for 8-15. All right, we're just getting started this hour of Coast TV News Today. Yeah, coming up, survey in the nation's summer capital. What is the focus of this latest public outreach by Rehoboth Beach officials? Also, election emotions are still running high for many people along the coast. How some people are reacting to the results. And the history of the town crier will show you how it adds to the return day tradition. All that and more as Coast TV News Today continues. Are you tired of your old and dirty floors? Your living room looks like it survived a pinata party with a hundred kids? Don't worry, Matt the Carpet Guy is the flooring hero. Here you find a great selection of vinyl flooring and carpets in stock at the best price. With LVP starting at $1.99 a square foot, we're a family business working with contractors, installers, and do-it-yourselfers. Don't worry, Matt the Carpet Guy is the flooring hero. Flooring done right. 18 years ago, we founded Community Bank Delaware with the goal of providing high quality banking services to our local community. Here you meet with decision makers, people just like you who live in and love this community. We provide the newest banking technologies to our customers, supported by our local team of banking professionals. Our bank serves clients throughout Sussex County and we continue to grow, all thanks to you. Community Bank Delaware, where community matters. Hi, I'm Delaware Insurance Commissioner Trinidad Navarro. Making decisions about your Medicare coverage can be difficult. So, the Delaware Medicare Assistance Bureau is here to help. Thousands of Delawareans with Medicare come to us for free one-on-one -on -one assistance with navigating the complex and confusing insurance system. We can help you too. Call our Delaware Medicare Assistance Bureau at 302-674-7364 today. Surface Solutions is rolling across Delmarva, providing the best asphalt and concrete installation for your home or business. Our professional team is transforming the asphalt industry with an impeccable reputation for quality. We guarantee a timely response, unparalleled customer service, and a detailed free estimate in days, not weeks. Call the exterior surface specialists at Surface Solutions and ask about our special financing rates as low as 0%. Call the professionals at Surface Solutions and discover the difference. Return Day is upon us once again, the celebration of unity and tradition. But it's not just for Sussex County, it's also for one family who continues to keep this tradition alive. Kirk Lawson carries a tradition passed down from generations, reading the returns of the election at Sussex County's Return Day. I solicited for the job of town crier and was fortunate enough when it became available that they put me in that position, which I'm very thankful for. I'm Associate Justice Vincent Poverty. Ronnie Dodd, Lawson's great uncle, served as the town crier from 1962 to 1992, and was even featured in a film called Portrait of America. After watching Dodd throughout his childhood, Lawson felt called to the position. To get to see that up close and personal, uh, it gave me a, a sense of wanting to carry that on. When Lawson shared with his family that he would be following in Dodd's footsteps, he was given a number of items, including his uncle's bow tie and top hat. Along with these items, he was given very clear advice from one town crier to the next. To know him, he's a man of few words and he's pretty direct. So it was 
pretty much speak clearly and don't show any favoritism. And that was about it. And I, and I tried to do that. Now that he's earned the position he's always wanted, taking the torch from his uncle, Lawson plans to hold on to it for a while, but someday he hopes to hand it off to another member of his family, his son Robbie. He has shown interest, so I'm assuming that going forward, um, he'll grab a hold of that, that willingness to carry on the tradition and, and show, you know, show everybody how it's been done for generations. Every two years, Lawson returns to the Sussex County Courthouse balcony. Some could call it a civic duty or a calling to continue this unique tradition on Delmarva. In Georgetown, I'm Zakia Jennings, Coast TV News. This morning's weather forecast, courtesy of Bass by Spicer Brothers, a Delmarva tradition for over 20 years. Welcome to the brand new Bath by Spicer Brothers showroom. Experience the future of bathroom remodeling. Bath by Spicer Brothers is Delmarva's exclusive BCI Elite dealer, offering more selections, styles, and colors, including options like the laser etched tile pattern system. Made in the USA, built for beauty and performance, our baths are durable, mold resistant, and guaranteed for life. With no money down, no interest, and no payments until 2026, you have no reason to wait. Call Bath by Spicer Brothers today because you deserve the best. Not happy with your home's builder grade gas fireplace? Let Shagrin Home Comfort Products upgrade your fireplace with a new one from Mendota, Regency, or Cozy Heat. These gas fireplaces add both warmth and aesthetic to your home. Shagrin has plenty of different styles and sizes to choose from. What are you waiting for? Start your fall fireplace project now before it's too late. Stop in one of our local showrooms or give us a call at 302-644-7700 to see how Shagrin Home Comfort Products can warm up your home. For over 50 years, our mission at Herker Property Maintenance has been very clear. Deliver exceptional curb appeal to neighborhoods, businesses, and property management. Our team of highly trained professionals are committed to making your properties look attractive, clean, and professional, limiting your risk of issues arising. From landscaping to full service exterior maintenance, Herker's your one-stop solution. Send your RFP to Herker Property Maintenance now and discover how Herker can save you thousands and elevate your property curb appeal. The weather is brought to you by Spicer Brothers Construction. Born here to serve here. Local businesses are the lifeline of every community. And behind every local business is a person with a dream, putting their heart and soul into something they believe in. And when you support a local business, you're contributing to the local economy and making our community thrive. Spicer Brothers has been helping Delmarva families with their home improvement projects for over 20 years. So trust Spicer Brothers with your home, where every dollar stays right here on Delmarva, supporting real local people and their families. Time is 618 and we're getting a live look at Laurel. Yeah, I see some of those clouds that are covering most of our area so far this morning. That's the scene there. Bob in Georgetown, it is return day. The mayor's hatchet toss that's taking place at nine, less than three hours from now. So are these mayors tossing the hatchet to each other? Is it a somebody or something on the receiving end? I don't want to be on the receiving something end. Something in? No, I'm sure it's a stump or something, a traditional return day stump maybe. Uh, but we are looking at uh, pretty decent weather for return day. As you just saw in that camera shot, we have clouds out there. So lots of clouds, peaks of sun today as well. Uh, we have the parade at 1.30, so looking pretty good there. Temperatures mid to upper 70s and mostly cloudy skies and pretty dry. Now, obviously very dry. We're looking Looking at 41 straight days now of dry weather. The last measurable rain was September 27th. And for this month, we're already down, well, about 0.71 inches of rain in Georgetown. You can see we're exceptionally dry with no measurable rain. But that will change, I think, as we go through time into the weekend into next week. The rain chances do increase. But this morning, mainly cloudy temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. We're hoping Beach 68, Delmar 67 right now. And the winter calm or light coming out of the west and southwest. That'll be the case really much of the day as we're looking at the overcast skies. So it's been a while since we've seen cloudy skies. Unfortunately, no rainfall, maybe just a few sprinkles here and there as you do have a cold front now making its way through western PA and into the mountains. And that's triggering a few showers, a little bit more in the way of moisture back through the Carolinas right now. But we still have dry high pressure in place. So whatever's trying to come our way tends to dry up. Now behind this front, we're looking at drier and cooler air. That is our weather for really much of the weekend. 
again, and it's downright winter time across the mountains of New Mexico and Colorado where they are seeing snow. No snow for us, just a lot of clouds this morning. Mild with 60s and 70s. By noon, we're into the mid 70s. Maybe a little bit more in the way of sunshine, but at the beach is 60s and low 70s and upper 70s from Ellendale to Millsboro around 230. A few more clouds, a little bit of sun as well, maybe a sprinkle. And then into this evening, still pretty mild. In fact, we keep it mostly cloudy overnight. Cannot rule out a stray shower as we go into Friday morning as we're looking at temperatures in the 60s to begin the day. We'll see some sunshine, especially into the afternoon, and it will be cooler with highs into the 70s. And for Friday night lights, temperatures cooling through the 60s, the weather cooperating again for football, and it gets pretty windy as we go into the weekend. It's just a light breeze now, but then we go into Friday, see the winds variable, but then they'll really start picking up with time by Saturday midnight. Look at this gusting over 30 miles per hour at the beach is very windy as we go into the weekend. Keep that in mind. We have a dry Saturday, then clouds increasing on Sunday. A better chance of rain late Sunday into Monday. That should break our dry streak at that time. And we are talking still about a hurricane Rafael in the Gulf of Mexico, 105 mile per hour storm, but it looks like it's moving due west in the Gulf of Mexico, and it looks like it will not make landfall across the USA or give us any moisture from it. Paul Davis, seven day forecast, 78 today, 71 Friday cooler for the weekend 60 Saturday 65 Sunday rain late Sunday into Monday Veterans Day 72 then cooler and drier Tuesday and Wednesday. Thank you Bob reaction along the coast of the election results we went to Rowith Beach to learn what people there saying about what happened on Tuesday and here is some of what we heard. I am feeling so happy I'm glad the United States got things straight for once. And um, I think the next four years are gonna be fabulous. I'm in tears because these people are fearful that they are gonna get kicked out of their homes, sent back to other countries. It's just not right. Donald Trump made big gains this election with male voters and Latino male voters specifically. And a reminder, follow along with continued coverage and updates of the general election. You can do that by going to coasttv.com. More to come this morning. The nation's summer capital, Rehoboth Beach, wants to hear from locals. We'll tell you how your answers could impact communication in the city. Don't go anywhere. Download the Coast TV News app on your Apple or Android devices. Christmas is around the corner. Let Paul Davis check that deck project off your list and get a free fire pit. We'll bring the showroom to you, take measurements, and give you an estimate that day. Our AZAC composite decking looks amazing, won't fade or rot, and is maintenance-free with a lifetime warranty. From design to permitting and building, we're with you every step of the way. Take 20% off your deck project, get a free gas fire pit, and pay as little as $100 per month. Call today. Paul Davis Restoration and Home Remodeling. Since 1925, Avery Hall has been the go-to insurance agency for those who want quality service with a personal touch. Our unique consultative approach is all about you. Our agents take the time to understand your specific needs and craft coverage that protects your assets and offers peace of mind, whether it's employee benefits, individual, or business insurance. Avery Hall isn't just an insurance agency. We are a cornerstone of Delmarva and are committed to supporting and protecting the communities we call home. Avery Hall, insurance solutions for today's world. Are you ready for some puppies? You will score the perfect puppy and so much more at Puppies R Us in Bridgeville. Vet checked, vaccinated, microchipped, and ready to intercept your heart. Plus everything you need to help keep your new puppy healthy and happy. Get touchdown savings right now with $200 off a puppy purchase, a free bag of Canada dog food, and 20% off all accessories for a whole month. Family owned, Puppies R Us, Route 13 in Bridgeville, Delaware. Financing available. Foul odors, discolored water. Are you running out of hot water more quickly? These are all signs of sediment buildup in your water heater. And as the buildup becomes more severe, it can even cause a premature tank failure. Flushing the tank periodically can prevent these problems. FH Fur has you covered. Get a water heater flush for $49. That's right, a complete water heater flush for only $49. Act now and get a plumbing inspection free. 877-CALL-FUR. 
The next phase of safety improvements in Dewey Beach will begin next month. According to the town, you should expect work on Route 1 from December until March 2025. The project includes improving and replacing sidewalks, updating and moving signs where necessary, redoing crosswalks, and lowering the yellow beacons at those crosswalks. Two years after protests put a hold on plans for a restaurant in Cape Henlopen State Park, environmentalists say the state is now proposing a new bathhouse on that exact same site. The group Preserve Our Parks say a new bathhouse is needed as the current one is too old and not ADA compliant. However, the group says it is strongly opposed to tearing down the existing bathhouse and building a new bathhouse on undisturbed area of the dune. There is concern that a new building would damage the park's ecosystem. Happening now, Rehoboth Beach is using a communications survey to find out how residents receive and want to receive information from the city. It's your last chance to fill out the survey as heads up, it closes tomorrow. Mm, okay. We're joined again by First Alert Meteorologist Bob Trihe, and we start with a cloudy day along the coast, Bob. Yeah, yeah but uh, I think we've got half of your song or saying that. 75 degrees, not sunny, but uh, we do have the 75, and we are looking at the clouds along the beaches today. Chincoteague and Assateague, maybe a sprinkle. I think we'll see peaks of sun as well. Highs into the 70s. UV index is low. Waves around 2 to 3 feet. Fenwick Island, you're into the mid 70s later on. A few peaks of sun and then Ocean City starting out in the 60s and then winding up in the mid 70s. On the bay side, the next three day Cambridge, you're 78 today, but cooling to 71 on Friday, looking windy and cooler on Saturday, 60 degrees. And then Crisfield, we go from the lower 70s today to a high of only 59 on Saturday. So it does start to cool down and rain chances do increase as we go into the end of the weekend and next week. Much more in your forecast coming up in the next half hour. All right, Bob, thank Thank you. Also coming up after the break, election impacts on offshore wind. We're going to tell you why some Delmarva leaders are hopeful for the future or lack thereof for the proposed projects. The reaction after results. First, it was Donald Trump early Wednesday morning. Then it was Kamala Harris in the afternoon. The tone they are setting after the election. And a return of a Sussex tradition. We're going to tell you about the building excitement for this year's return day. Coast TV News returns after this. Welcome to our adventure in finding the coolest house with Pan Price. Behold the living room. Base camp for family game nights, pillow fights, and to prove my mom and dad. Look at this kitchen. Mom's culinary superpowers would be unstoppable here. Feast your eyes on this beautiful pool, perfect for cannonballs and belly flops. Thanks to Pam, our home search saga ends here. My parents are over the moon. Pam is the best. She really is. Hey, Delaware. Bet Rivers and Delaware Park Casino are bringing betting on football to your phone. From props and in-game betting to the spread and the money line, it's all on your phone and it's all a touchdown. Plus, right now when you sign up, you'll get a second chance bet of up to $500. So huddle up with Bet Rivers, Delaware Park Casino, and football on your phone. Download the app today. Design a custom home that fits your unique style and budget with Accessible Home Builders. At Accessible, we provide you with a variety of customizable options to create the home of your dreams. Accessible Builders provided us with a beautiful home. Scott is full of ideas from his past experiences, and he really worked with us on all our custom asks and wants. We would definitely recommend Accessible Builders. Completely customize your dream home with Accessible Home Builders. Mondays at 5 on Big 1077. It's time to huddle up and talk football. We're talking touchdowns, tackles, and everything in between. From game-changing plays to the latest news around the league. We'll take a deep dive into all of the plays that made a difference. We'll see you in the end zone. Catch the end zone. Mondays at 5 on Big 1077. Sponsored by Tyndall's Casual Furniture. Now on Coast TV News. Lots of clouds to start our Thursday with mild conditions, slight chance of rain with a cold front today with better rain chances late into the weekend. I'll track it on Futurecast next. Burying the hatchet, a look at the return day festivities aimed to bring all political parties together. What a Trump win means for wind. Coastal communities react after Tuesday's election results. All about the paving. We check in at Robot Beach as the city begins its big project on its biggest road. 
This is Coast TV News Today. November 7th, 2024. Good morning, everybody. I'm Matt Pensick, a morning page. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. I'm Paige Marley. Time is 6.30. We've been talking about it all morning. Mm -hmm. It is a Sussex County tradition return day. We're going to go live there in a moment, but yes. I always like this. It, you know, it is under the spirit of bipartisanship, and I know there are a lot of tensions on both sides oh, yeah. after the election. So, hey, take a deep take breath. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Life goes on. Life goes on for sure. Yeah, the commercials are done. Yep. The text messages that maybe you've been getting are done. I am so done. glad about that. I was I was about ready to shut off my phone. Oh yeah, I was getting text messages into when polls were like closing. I'm like, I don't think, I don't think there's much left we can do. But what we can do is be together, be happy, and eat. Uh, what's that thing they have? The oxtail. The oxtail sandwich. I love oxtail. Bob, have you had it before? Oh. <laughs> Bob, uh, oxtail. Good. You, it's mm. got you all over. Hmm. <laughs> Don't Can't say it. I have. I don't know. Is it gamey? I, I'd have to taste it. I'm not sure. <laughs> but return day, uh, it's exciting stuff for Sussex County. I'll have more on that in the forecast coming up. But we are looking at lots of clouds. Don't need the umbrella out the door. Might see a sprinkle today. But the clouds, it's the bark worse than the bite as we have a cold front off to our northwest. Seeing a few sprinkles across Maryland right now and also off to the south. And, you know, we could see a sprinkle as we go through the morning hours, but it's very mild. Temperatures into the mid to upper 60s, 68 Bethany Beach and Rehoboth with a light westerly wind. So light winds, lots of clouds, maybe a sprinkle. Don't think it's umbrella worthy. By mid morning, we're in the 60s and 70s, maybe more breaks late morning into the mid 70s. And then it's upper 70s by two o'clock. We've got the big parade in Georgetown at 1:30. should be good for that. And then maybe a sprinkle as we go into this evening and staying mild. Here's your drive cast gave it the green light this morning. It will be cloudy and mild, maybe a stray sprinkle, no weather hazards. And then the green light for the afternoon and evening commute with some sun and clouds. Well, thank you. The biannual celebration of return day begins this afternoon. Sussex County tradition voters watch as the politicians come together. They bury the hatchet to celebrate unity and the official end of the campaign season. Yeah, a lot of events going on for that. Coast TV news reporter Elisa Weber is live in Georgetown. Elisa, this event draws a large crowd, so safety that is one of the town's biggest priorities. Yeah, Matt and Paige, I'm currently at the Georgetown Circle, and very shortly, we're going to see this area filled with a lot of people excited to celebrate Return Day. And I'm going to take you all over this way to see some of the preparations that are already going on right now. They're cooking a lot of food behind me. It smells delicious here. There's a lot of American flags up here. So Georgetown, they're ready to celebrate this unique holiday here in Sussex County. And this is a tradition that dates back to the 18th century when people would come to Georgetown, the county seat, to celebrate Return Day, which is the end of the political season. And this is a tradition, like I said, people look forward to it. There's going to be food trucks, live music, a cornhole contest where you can win a cash prize. So there's a lot of exciting stuff going on today, but a big priority for the town is safety. And we talked with the Georgetown mayor to hear a little bit more how they're gonna make sure to keep all of the crowds safe today. We all try to work together to make this a great event. And the number one thing is safety of the people. We want to make sure that everybody's safe and has a wonderful time. And this circle has been closed since Wednesday and will remain closed until all the festivities are over with today. Back to you. And stay with us here on Coast TV. We're going to have extensive coverage of Return Day. Be sure to join in today for all of the bipartisanship and Delmarva flair. Looking forward to that. We're going to go live now to our nation's capital, see what's going on there. Uh, it was at the White House that we checked in with earlier that President Biden invited President-elect Trump to meet with him. And we are now beginning to get a picture of what a second Trump administration could look like. It's in the wake of that concession speech from Vice President Kamala Harris yesterday. Not the speech Vice President Harris had hoped for or planned to deliver. Votes for President-elect Trump swept the swing states' major numbers from men and first-timers at the ballot box. This while expanding his support as well from black, Latino, and young voters. Here's how both candidates are reacting to those results. While I concede this election, I do not concede the fight that fueled this campaign. This is a magnificent victory for the American people that will allow us to make America great again. Now, President Biden, as we mentioned, congratulated President-elect Trump during a phone call. He invited him to sit down with him for a meeting at the White House. President Biden is expected to speak to the nation about the election a little later today. 
To Ocean City now, officials there say the result of the presidential election could have an impact on offshore wind. With Donald Trump and J.D. Vance winning and with Republicans now holding the majority in the Senate and the House trending in that same direction. Officials in Fenwick and throughout Worcester County think they're going to have a more sympathetic ear now in Washington when it comes to their fight against offshore wind. Yeah, Ocean City, Fenwick Island, others, they have filed a lawsuit against the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management to prevent wind turbines from being built off of our coast. New information on a story that we first brought to you earlier this week. Richard Byrne stepping down as president of Rehoboth Beach Main Street. It's a nonpartisan profit that supports local businesses and encourages people to visit the downtown Rehoboth Beach area. It was earlier that reported Byrne, who is a former Rehoboth Beach commissioner, he was arrested for stealing campaign signs. He was charged with two counts of theft under $1,500, two counts of criminal mischief under $1,000, and according to a press release from the organization, Byrne did this stepping down out of concern for the nonprofit Vice President Susie Martin will serve as interim president moving forward. Now also in the nation's summer capital happening now, that on again, off again Rehoboth Avenue paving project is on. This is the scene as crews work on that project. It marks the first time the avenue will be paved in nearly 20 years. The city says the project will include milling, paving, restriping and curb work. This all comes after the city has gone back and forth several times on whether or not to pave the avenue with some previous delays due to budget issues. Milt Mann facing charges again. This is for home improvement fraud. And this time, this instance occurred in Bethany Beach. That's where a man says he paid over $3,000 for work that did not happen. Christopher Russell, the owner of Great Outdoor Sunrooms and Shade Solutions, accused of taking the deposit as part of a $5,800 contract but he failed to deliver the service. And police say Russell is also under investigation for similar scams across Delaware. It was on November 1st, Russell turned himself in and he's facing felony charges, including home improvement fraud and theft by false promise. Still more news to get to in this final half hour. All right, coming up, Dot announcing repairs to the Indian River Inlet that requires a temporary closure. We're going to tell you the areas of the bridge that's scheduled to close and when. Also, field hockey, Division II state semifinals. Delaware were on the line last night. The sudden death overtime thriller that sends Del Mar to the championship game. And in honor of Veterans Day, the Delaware Botanic Gardens has a special treat. What promotion they have planned this weekend. Stick with us on Coast TV News Today. We have two victims. This was a brutal attack. He doesn't remember anything. The doctors want to take her off life support. She's in there. Do you know who attacked you? SVU, tonight on NBC and Peacock. Hello, Gabrielle. I have taken two young women. It's not a sir. It's a copycat. You don't think this was sir? This isn't his MO. <laughs> he took her. Who took her? Found, new tonight on NBC and Peacock. Fall into planning at Bella Terra Garden Center. Autumn is the perfect time of year for planning. Come check out our locally sourced collection of trees and shrubs of all shapes and sizes. Did you know that Bella Terra is open seven days a week? Join our garden club for big savings and first access to all sale promotions. Stocked with the smallest succulents to the tallest of trees, Bella Terra Garden Center is here for all your gardening needs. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Located right off Route 16 in Ellendale. What are you doing here? I'm here for your six month crawl space inspection. Come on, follow me. I should get out of these clothes. Believe me, my friend, it's perfectly clean down there. I can't stress the importance of having braziers monitor your crawl space. What is there to inspect? Your sub pump, your dehumidifier, and we inspect your whole crawl space for you. You can't beat that type of service, and there's no bugs down here. Which reminds me. Son in law, is my room ready yet? Come on. Absolutely. Welcome to the brand new Bath by Spicer Brothers showroom. Experience the future of bathroom remodeling. Bath by Spicer Brothers is Delmarva's exclusive BCI Elite dealer, offering more selections, styles, and colors, including options like the laser etch tile pattern system. Made in the USA, built for beauty and performance, our baths are durable, mold resistant, and guaranteed for life. With no money down, no interest, and no payments until 2026, you have no reason to wait. Call Bath by Spicer Brothers today because you deserve the best.
It is exactly 640 on this cloudy Thursday morning. Salisbury right now 65 overcast skies, but dry roads on our title health cam and mild temperatures out the door 66 Georgetown Milton 67 right now. And the winds are light, but the tendency is out of the west southwest as we have clouds could see a few sprinkles through the morning hours, maybe a few sprinkles up near the I-95 corridor. There is a cold front back to the west and that could trigger a few more sprinkles as we go through the day. Otherwise, just lots of clouds, peaks of sun at times and for the kids off to the bus stop. Lots of clouds, 65, just a light jacket is necessary. And then heading home, looking at 78 degrees and mild conditions and a few peaks of sun. Our umbrella winner today once again is Art Winterbottom from Milton. Congratulations, Art, on your umbrella from Paul Davis and Coast TV. And I think Art has a chance to use his umbrella later Sunday into Monday. Bob, thank you. Denrec is hosting a free webinar November 14th. It's focused on nature-based stormwater management and living shoreline projects. This is going to feature experts from Underwood and Associates who are discussing efforts to restore natural infrastructure and protect waterfronts from climate change. This includes projects in Grace, Maryland, and that registration is open until the webinar begins at 10 a.m. There are many events happening along the coast in honor of Veterans Day. This Saturday, November 9th, Delaware Botanic Gardens is offering a special Veterans Day treat. Veterans get in free with their military ID, and anyone who brings a food donation for the Home of the Brave Foundation, they can enjoy the gardens for free, too. Rehoboth Beach is hosting a musical tribute to our veterans this Sunday. It's at 3 p.m. in Rehoboth Beach. And this event is free, but it is accepting donations as well. And those will benefit a charity providing scholarships to spouses or children of disabled or fallen vets. Sunday Night Football here on Coast TV. And this week, tune in to catch the Detroit Lions and the Houston Texans. Coverage on Coast TV, it starts at 7 o'clock. And then stay tuned for your hyper-local news coverage. Delaware State was the home of the state semifinals in Delaware Division II field hockey. Three of the four remaining teams hail from Delmarva, including the eight-time reigning state champion Delmar Wildcats. And the two-seed Wildcats took on the number three-seed Sussex Academy in Game 1. Delmar won this matchup in the regular season 4-0. Delmar in the white unis and Sussex Academy in the dark blue for this affair. In the opening quarter, Delmar corner. Jordan Holloman gets it, makes her move, and deposits the opening goal for the Wildcats to make it 1-0. On to the fourth, Sussex Academy down 2-1, looking for the equalizer. It's fired from the outside, and Werner is on the doorstep to tap it in. This game is tied at two, and we'd need overtime. In OT, another Delmar corner. Holloman gets by one defender and softly flips in the game winner. Delmar wins it in sudden death fashion, 3-2 to advance to the title game. After the game, Jordan Holloman talked about her mindset in overtime. I was really working hard trying to put the ball in cage and having one of my teammates finish, and it just got by the goalie, and I'm so happy it went by. <laughs> The stage is set. Delmar will take on Wilmington Friends right here in the final on Saturday at 1 p.m. as the Wildcats look for their ninth consecutive state championship win. Reporting from Dover, Delaware for the Delmarva Sports Network, I'm Luke Milai. And coming up tonight on DSN 530, tune in for the football pregame scoops and scores at 6. We have your game of the night, Maryland High School football playoff football. We got... Parkside and Easton, and then finally at 11 p.m. it is the final score. Then it, on the DSN Plus app, we have that Easton Parkside game, but here is your DSN Plus exclusive coverage. You have boys soccer, Cape Henlopen and Cesar Rodney. We also have Howard and Tower Hill. That is in Delaware High School football. Rough week. Cheer up with a weekly dose of local good news from Coast TV with personal features, fun things to do each weekend, and more. Sign up now for free at coasttv.com slash sign up and get your weekly dose of joy directly to your inbox on Friday. Something we haven't seen in a while, a cloudy morning across Delmarva. That's what we have on the gutter helmet camp 67. It's a mild start. Lots of clouds today, but not much hope for rain today. Better rain chances later into the weekend into next week. I'll track it all on Futurecast coming up in two minutes. Take your favorite radio station with you wherever you go. Download free today. Customer satisfaction is our top priority. Window World does an excellent job. I recommend them to all of my clients. Window World was different because they actually responded to my phone calls and listened to what I was asking for. Call Window World today. 
Is your garage door in need of an upgrade or a repair? Then Clark & Sons Garage Doors can help. We believe your garage door should be more than just functional. It should be a reflection of your personality and style. With over 60 years serving the entire Delmarva Peninsula, Clark & Sons delivers quality craftsmanship and exceptional service every time. We provide free estimates on new garage doors. Plus, we offer comprehensive maintenance services to ensure your garage door stays in perfect working condition. So call today and discover why Clark & Sons is the name you can trust. They're not just pets. To us, they're family. With Holloway Pet Cremation Services, you can afford to treat them with the same care and respect as any member of your family. Our compassionate team will make prompt arrangements to receive your pet into our care for individual cremation. Plus, Holloway has so many beautiful ways to treasure them forever. Ask about adding our Forever With Me keepsake package, including an engraved urn, ink paw print, lock of fur, and a keepsake of your choice. Holloway Pet Cremation Services, serving all of Delmarva. Window World of Delmarva, quality and price that can't be beat. Get a 10 window package for only $121.81 per month. No matter the size of the project, you can trust Window World of Delmarva to get it done right. Remember, first to call, first to install. Weather brought to you by Coastal Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning, dedicated to excellence in Delaware and Maryland. Coastal Comfort knows you can't always plan when you'll need us. That's why Coastal Comfort technicians are dedicated experts. Early mornings to late nights, cold or hot weather, day in and day out, delivering quality service when you need them. Reliable, trustworthy, always here for you. Experience the Coastal Comfort difference. Call us or visit CoastalComfort.com to schedule your appointment today. Coastal Comfort, a Carrier Factory Authorized Dealer, serving Maryland and Delaware. Carrier, turn to the experts. It's now 646 on your Thursday morning. Bob, we're going to take a live look at Ocean View. Looking cloudy there like you warned us. You were telling us about the return day weather and uh, you said cloudy and... There's your proof in the Voila. morning. Voila. Yeah, there's the cloudy. And Paige, as I mentioned, it's been a long time since we've seen a cloudy morning. It might be good to see a little bit of rain, but then again, it's return day. So we don't want a lot of rain for this uh, festive occasion in Sussex County as the town crier will be doing his thing. And... Uh, uh, bringing peace to the area after the elections and everybody can take a deep breath. We're looking at clouds this morning, temperatures in the 60s and 70s. This afternoon, sun comes out. We have the parade at 130, so we're looking at temperatures into the upper 70s. Pretty nice and then still pretty mild with light winds into this evening. Now the bad news. We're up to day 41 now in our dry streak. Last measurable rain the end of September. The old record was 34. We continue to distance ourselves from that. And so far, rainfall this month, yeah, nothing in Georgetown and we're already down 71 hundredths of an inch but I think the rain prospects do pick up as we go later weekend into next week. Temperatures out the door mild around 64 to 68 degrees. Rehoboth and Bethany Beach both 68. Georgetown at 66 so a mild day for return day as we're looking at light winds right now and lots of clouds. Nothing in the way of rain just kind of cloudy. Can't rule out a sprinkle as we go through the morning. There is a cold front farther back to our our west. You can see it moving through Pennsylvania right now. Clouds out ahead of it, but we still have high pressure, so it is still very dry with some showers to the south, and you can see that front back to our west. Behind it, we're looking at high pressure and drier air, windy conditions for the weekend while it's snow across the Rockies of Colorado and New Mexico as winter is arriving there early. No winter for us. Here's future cast this morning. Clouds, mild conditions. I think by noon, we're warming into the 70s. Pretty nice as the the sun makes a return, maybe a few more clouds mid afternoon, maybe a sprinkle upper 70s, Selbyville to Millsboro, 60s and 70s at the beaches. And we're still in and out of the clouds as we go through the evening hours. And overnight, we can't rule out a stray shower, nothing all that heavy. And then Friday morning, we're into the low 60s. And then the sun comes out in the afternoon, and it will be cooler with highs in the lower 70s and looking dry and cooler for Friday night lights. And then it gets windy into the weekend. Wind's not strong today. There variable as we go through the day and then by Friday afternoon they're starting to pick up out of the west and then they start to really howl from the north and northwest Friday night into Saturday morning gusting over 30 miles per hour at times at the beaches so hang on to your hats pretty windy into Saturday which will be a dry day but then the clouds increase Sunday and our next best chance for rain comes later Sunday into Monday this should break the rain streak or the dry streak at that time meantime in the Gulf of Mexico we've got Hurricane Rafael winds of 105 
25 miles per hour. A strong hurricane, but I don't think it's going to affect land. It's going to be moving to the west and diminishing. I thought maybe some of the moisture from Raphael might be heading our way, but right now it looks like it will not be. Paul Davis, 7-day forecast, 78 today, 71 on Friday, windy into the weekend, 60 Saturday, and then that rain later Sunday into Veterans Day Monday, and then cooler and drier Tuesday into Wednesday. Bob, thank you so much. Dell Dot announced the right northbound lane of the Indian River Inlet Bridge will be closed for a month. On your screen right now, you can see the general area of that closure. That'll begin November 11th. It'll be through December 11th. It's for the installation of a sheet pile wall. That work is related to the ongoing erosion and inlet repair projects. There are two overnight closures on Gravel Hill Road in the Millsboro area to tell about. We're showing you the general area on your screen right now. Now, the closures will take place Tuesday, November 12th, and also Thursday, November 14th. And this is due to a bridge beam placement for the North Millsboro Bypass. Time is now 6.50 this morning. It's time to check in with our Coastal Pet of the Day. And today's Coastal Pet of the Day is a dog <laughs> who did his civic duty. On your screen right now is Messy, and as you can see, Messy is and his owners are registered voters. I didn't know dogs could register to vote, but yeah. I guess this one can. I Messi, me, Messi was submitted to us by Chuck and Sue in Millsboro. Shall I go get Ziggy registered? I think you should. Oh, he's only three. Oh, yes. In dog years. Oh, no, that's 21 in dog years. All right, now you're asking me to do math. Page. Yeah, I think he could vote. But, yeah. Well, I'll look into it. We want to see all your pets on Delmarva. Send us I feel like we need to say, we're kidding. Yeah. Because I feel like somebody out there is like, <laughs> dogs can't vote. Thank you. Yes, I'm joking. Don't worry, my dog did not come with me to the polls. But yes, send us photos of your pets. Tell us what makes them so special. Scan the QR code at the top of your screen to submit your furry friend to Coast TV News and watch weekdays from 5 to 7 a.m. to see all the pets we feature. I thought those dogs looked familiar. I know Chuck and Sue in Millsboro. They're beautiful little dogs, yes. They like to carry a little tennis ball around with them when they're going for a walk. So gorgeous dogs there. This morning, look at this. We've got ominous looking skies for the first time in a long time. Looks like it wants to rain. Maybe a few sprinkles today. Otherwise, a good day for return day. Lots of clouds, maybe a slight shower chance later. Better rain chances late weekend into next week. Your 10-day forecast is coming up after the break. Tacoma has a dominant legacy as America's favorite small pickup for almost two decades. Known for reliability and capability. Now buy a Tacoma with low 2.99 APR or lease an SR5 for $2.29 a month. This is my legacy. Toyota, let's go places. When choosing a granite countertop, choose one for real life and beauty. No matter what life throws at them, they'll look beautiful forever. Ancient Art Stone invites you to discover the affordability of granite and upgrade your home to the beautiful works of art from Ancient Art Stone. Centrally located in Milford, Delaware, serving all of Delmarva to make your dreams a reality. Visit us and allow our devoted professionals to craft, fabricate, and install a superior finished product that will transform your home into a work of art. If you're looking to build at the beach, the Lee and Wilkinson Group is here to represent you. We'll guide you through the process to turn your dream home into a reality. Our long-standing relationships with both the large and boutique builders and extensive knowledge of our market are just some of the reasons why we've been the number one real estate team in coastal Delaware for over 25 years. From foundation to forever, the Lee and Wilkinson Group is a proud affiliate of Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, PenFed Realty. Are you tired of your old and dirty floors? Your living room looks like it survived a pinata party with a hundred kids? Don't worry, Matt the Carpet Guy is the flooring hero. Here you find a great selection of vinyl flooring and carpets in stock at the best price. With LVP starting at $1.99 a square foot, we're a family business working with contractors, installers, and do-it-yourselfers. Don't worry, Matt the Carpet Guy is the flooring hero. Flooring done right. Christmas is around the corner. Let Paul Davis check that deck project off your list and get a free fire pit. We'll bring the showroom to you, take measurements, and give you an estimate that day. Our AZAC composite decking looks amazing, won't fade a rod, and is maintenance free with a lifetime warranty. From design to permitting and building, we're with you every step of the way. Take 20% off your deck project, get a free gas fire pit, and pay as little as $100 per month. Call today. Paul Davis Restoration and Home Remodeling. 
Time is now 6.54. It's time for some things you need to know before you go. Rehoboth Beach is where the current Commander-in-Chief, President Biden, will be spending his weekend. As is always the case, that means flight restrictions are going to be in place. Those restrictions run from tomorrow, November 8th, to Monday the 11th. This is the on-again, off-again Rehoboth Avenue paving project. It is on and it is in progress. This marks the first time the avenue will be paved in nearly 20 years. The city says the project will include milling, paving, restriping, and curb work. This comes after the city has gone back and forth several times on whether or not to pave the avenue. With some previous delays due to budget issues. In Ocean City, officials there say the results of the presidential election could have an impact on offshore wind. Officials in Fenwick and throughout Worcester County think they are going to have a more sympathetic ear in Washington when it comes to their fight against offshore wind. Ocean City, Fenwick Island and others have already filed lawsuits against the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management to prevent wind turbines from being built off our coast. Yeah, and speaking of the election, we're now getting a good picture of what a second Trump administration could look like. Votes for President-elect Trump swept the swing states with big numbers from men and first-timers at the ballot box while expanding his support of black, Latino, and young voters. President Biden has congratulated President-elect Trump during a phone call where he invited him to a sit-down at a meeting at the White House, and President Biden expected to speak to the nation about the election later today. All right, enough election talk. Yes. Starbucks hoping to add a little jingle to its slumping sales. Yeah, this week the chain is rolling out its seasonal cups. I know these are popular, Paige. Yes! Starting Thursday, customers at all U.S. locations will get their hot drinks served in one of those festive cup designs. Starbucks describes them as having familiar shades of Starbucks green and cranberry red paired with fondant-inspired soft pastels. These cups, they are a Starbucks tradition, one that's boosted revenue in the past, which the chain says they desperately need. I will, I will keep Starbucks together with my purchase of peppermint mochas. I, I, Don't the, worry. I, you see, this time of year, you see these. I guess they are doing a little bit earlier, but normally yeah. they are out there. You see a lot of. Them. I single-handedly hold the economy together. Don't worry, guys. All right, 6:56 now. Time for a look at your forecast before you head out the door. All right, Bob. Looks like we got a good one for return day today. Yeah, looking, looking good. good. And I, I think, think Starbucks, Starbucks said that they're going to start writing the names again on the cups. I think I saw that. So festive cups with your name on it. We are looking at some. Decent weather for return day. Some clouds out there or whatever you're doing outdoors. Maybe a sprinkle. Otherwise, afternoon sunshine and temperatures into the upper 70s. Paul Davis 10-day forecast. Cooler on Friday, 71. Saturday, windy and chilly, 60. And then we have a rain chance later Sunday into Monday. That could break our dry streak. But maybe a little wet early on for Veterans Day. Dry Tuesday and Wednesday. Looks like another rain chance by Thursday. And then cooler and drier into next weekend. Thank you, Bob, and thank you for joining us on Coast TV News Today. Today's show coming up next at 7 a.m. And we'll be back with Coast TV Midday at 11. Stick around. And stick around with us for more return day coverage. Have a great Thursday morning, everybody.